A horizontally oriented copper rod of length L is rotated about the axis passing through its middle. What is the number of RPS at which this rod ruptures? So this is the rod which is rotating about this axis with omega. So at what point the rod will rupture? That's the first question. So the answer will be at the center. The reason is if you take this axis passing through the center. So about that you can see that the rest of the rod is having its acceleration inside. So on this system of the rod, all the force is due to this, whatever force is there on the joint. If you take any other point on this rod, so if you take this axis, for example, so only a little part of the rod outside is getting the centripetal acceleration about that axis. So the forces on the joint will be less because mass of this part of the rod is very is less but the mass is maximum when you consider the center of the axis so let's read that if rod ruptures it will be at the middle as there the centripetal force is maximum see whatever part of the rod is that's getting its centripetal force from the from the forces in the rod itself this is, there is no joint here. This rod is just lying on the horizontal table and it's rotating by itself. So in that rod, the every part is rotating. So the maximum centri centripetal force will be at the center because about the center only maximum part of the rod is rotating. So I hope that is clear. So centripetal acceleration of this half rod will therefore be omega square into L by four. So this distance is L by 4. So on this system, the external force is F, which we need to find, no, which we, sorry, we don't need to find, but we know that F upon A at that point is, has reached its breaking stress. So on the system, F is equal to M by 2 into A, so M by 2 for the half rod. A, we will put omega square L by 4, and mass for the, for the whole rod will be rho L A. So from here we get f by a is equal to rho l square omega square by 8. Now as discussed at breaking point omega reaches maximum value and f by a reaches sigma b. So we'll put that so f by a is sigma b then omega max you will get as root of sigma b into 8 upon rho l square that comes to be 2 root 2 root sigma b by rho by l. Now this omega we have got in radians per second, but we need in RPS. So in RPS, omega is radian per second divided by 2 pi. So 2 pi radian per second is one revolution per second. So omega radian per second will be omega by 2 pi revolution per second, unitary method, which will give our answer. So you can see that in the answer, there is no term of mass. So this omega max is independent of mass of rod. All right.